The Fountain Day 38, Sabotage Can't Take Your Promise, another side of Joseph's story. I love the way God keeps giving me devotionals and then a week or so later, he brings it back up to me and frames it in a different way. This has been fun. I hope you benefit from another viewpoint of the Joseph story. There could be some people that come into your life and attempt to sabotage all the great things God wants to do for and through you. They might discourage you, cut you down, hold you back, withhold blessings, close doors, slander, mock, berate, lie, and attack you, but do not fear. The ones who push you out could be the ones that God uses to push you straight into the stream where God wants you to be. No man can truly sabotage you. God will do as he desires. He uses all things for the good of those called according to his purpose, right? We discussed this in part with regard to Joseph the other day, but this morning, clear as a bell, God reminded me that he used all those who came against Joseph to bring him into the presence of Pharaoh, therefore bringing him straight into the place where God would bless him. God allowed all the betrayal of his brothers to serve God's ultimate plan for Joseph. I keep seeing it as God using the circumstances to corral Joseph into the field of blessing. Along the way, he was cultivating deep character within him. There are definitely times when God turns the slights of others toward us to push us into the exact place where our next blessing resides. There are times when, God's, when God desires to use others to bless us and grant us open doors, but because of free will, they choose not to do so. He sometimes uses us as an invitation to a deeper walk with him, but others choose not to embrace it for whatever reason. And then attitudes change and circumstances shift, and suddenly where you were embraced, you are no longer welcome. That's okay. Rejoice in that because it means God is opening another door for you. The only thing is you must let go of fear and rejection and choose to boldly move forward kicking the dust off your feet, and going forward in forgiveness. If anyone will not welcome you or listen to your words, leave that town or home and shake the dust off your feet, Matthew 10, verse 14. Nobody can sabotage you out of your blessings, promise, and purpose. God will have his way. Others may talk a big talk or try their level best to cut you down, but God will always and forever have the final say. Count on it. Bank on that. Rest in that knowledge. There is nothing anyone can do that will knock you out of God's hand. I honestly believe we give other humans far too much leverage over our lives by allowing what they do and say to make us question God's voice over our lives or his purpose for us. I challenge you to do something. I've been doing this the last few days. God has been reminding me of many times in the past when things have gone sideways. And I've thought of people whom I haven't thought of in years. And when I asked him why, he led me first to forgive them again. Then he began to instruct me to rejoice in their betrayals and sabotages because they are what drove me straight into in line with where God wants me to be now. And they taught me a lot along the way. Oh, the lessons I've learned and the confidence I've gained. For the Lord gives wisdom from his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. He holds success in store for the upright. He is a shield to those whose walk is blameless, for he guards the course of the just and protects the way of his faithful ones. Then you will understand what is right and just and fair, every good path. Proverbs 2 verses 6 through 9.